Dana? Whew, good crowd. All right, gather around children. Grandpa's gonna tell a story. 70,000 years ago, um, humans had amazing tool interoperability. Pretty much everyone used the same accessible tools for every aspect of their lives. So anyone could be anything. And over time, these tools became more specialized. Eventually, everyone's pet rock became rock concerts. And that's been great, because it's led to big leaps forward in all these areas of life. And today, we can make awesome in all worlds. Art, music, architecture, music, movies, theme parks, games, you name it, but they don't always play well together. Maybe we've gotten a little stuck treating them separately. Maybe it even bums out the poor folks who want to experience these awesome things that creators are creating. And maybe we're starting to hit the limits of how great those things can be. Now, don't get me wrong, things are awesome possible, but it could be better. So enter Unreal Engine. Really? We're highlighting the greatest creation tool invented since the dawn of civilization. We're just going to pop the logo on like that, like we're not at some festival celebrating the apex of humanity. Let's try that again. Unreal Engine. I felt that one. I felt that one. There you go. That'll do. Now, you've seen today that creators are using Unreal Engine to make awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. And now that we're able to use a common tool in all these different parts of life, we've unlocked some pretty cool possibilities. It's time to bring back a new era of interoperability. We are artists. Look around this room. Engineers, designers, quality assurance. From games, movies, TV, museums, architecture, theme parks, music, so much more, it's our human nature for us to explore places that we haven't been put things together differently to make them better. Forget staying in our lane. Let's jump the rails. This year, we used Epic's latest technologies to mash up games and music to create an experience with Metallica called Fuel Fire Fury. And we collaborated with the great team at Harmonix and Fortnite. But because we did it in UEFN, we didn't do anything that you couldn't do too. Syncing the music around you to music is addicting. And now it's brought to you by killer features like Fabric in UEFN. So as a creator, you can decide, where's the line between music or game, and if there even needs to be a line at all. But speaking of lines, it turns out you're expected to cross a few when you're working for a band like Metallica. So when we needed to ride the lightning beyond the creative tool set, we used verse. And it only took us about 7,000 lines of verse to add a little something, something to make it unique. But when we were done with Metallica, we took a look at the budget, and we noticed we had a lot of pink pixels left over, like a lot. So we decided to use all of them at once with Carol G in creating a Fortnite trip through the rainbow. And for the first time ever, we used markerless computer vision from Yoom to capture those hot vision, that hot move at meta stage and retarget them right onto rigs in UEFN. And it's not a contest. But Carol G got 9,000 lines of verse. And we're not done this year. We've got even more boundary crossing experiences coming up. Speaking of years, we started this talk 70,000 years ago. So let's skip ahead to the year 2077. Some of you might have heard of a little game franchise called Fallout. Turns out it's kind of popular. So the Vaulties at Kilter Films decided to work with Bethesda to make a TV series set in the world of Fallout so that even non-gamers can enjoy the endless fun of trying to keep all your limbs attached while collecting caps in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Now, despite global politicians' best efforts, it turns out it's kind of hard to find a good post-apocalyptic wasteland to shoot an episodic series in, so we put gamers on the set with filmmakers, driving unreal levels out to a giant 190-foot LED wall so filmmakers could shoot directly into it. They did an awesome job building that out in the physical world. We backed them up in the virtual world with Unreal Engine and our atomic virtual production team. Because we like to live like there's no tomorrow. Only one week after it came out, we upgraded the whole stage so we could use Lumen for the first time ever with in-camera visual effects. Now, Fallout was such a hit, becoming the most watched whatever, whenever, wherever on Amazon Prime, that we're using even more cutting edge stuff with Unreal on season two. You can find out more details about season one 
at a special session later in the fest. Now, that's just a couple of examples. Music meeting games, games meeting television, whatever we as a community decide to mash up, the future is beautifully rendered worlds across physical and digital, all set to great music on any device you've got. So if you look around and you don't see the world that you want, build it yourself, just like we are. Thank you. Keep creating. <laughs>